hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video guys i'm going to show you how to fix airdrop not working on your iphone or ipad in ios 16 or 17 as the main way to transfer files among apple users airdrop not working on iphone or ipad is frustrating so let me show you how you can fix this problem so the first step is check airdrop requirement before anything else make sure that your apple device supports airdrop so the apple device that are supports make sure that you have, I have iphone 5 or newer an ipod touch 5th generation or newer ipad mini ipad 4th generation or newer so make sure that you have a device that supports airdrop then the next step is unlock your device if you're trying to send files via airdrop ensure that the target iphone or ipad is unlocked and awake your device won't be able to detect the target device if it isn't awake so make sure that you unlock your target device and then move on to the next step the next step is enable wi-fi and bluetooth make sure that wi-fi and bluetooth both are enabled on your iphone or ipad your device doesn't have to be connected to the internet you simply have to turn this on so make sure that the bluetooth and wi-fi is enabled and then move on to the next step the next step is turn off personal hotspot on your iphone or ipad both hotspot and airdrop utilize your wi-fi and bluetooth connection that being said you won't be able to use airdrop if your hotspot is turned on your iphone the only way to make airdrop work is to turn off the personal hotspot temporarily then move on to the next step the next step is bring device closer to each other the performance of airdrop can be affected by physical barrier including distance and interference ensure that both devices are within close proximity at least 30 feet then move on to the next step the next step is send a different file type separately if there is no issue initiating a file transfer with airdrop but it takes too long to finish the sending or find it stuck you may want to try sending file one at a time instead of in bulk then move on to the next step the next step is turn off airplane mode on iphone or ipad when enabled airplane mode shuts down all your wireless connection including wi-fi and bluetooth so make sure that you disable the airplane mode so once you have done this then the next step is update your ios make sure to keep your devices running on the latest ios beta ios version also notorious for the great they are glitches and bug so if you are using beta version revert to the older or most stable ios version you can go to setting click on general click on software update and if you see any update here make sure that you download and install that update on your iphone so hope this video helps Thanks for watching, subscribe.